If you're my pre calculus student, I would expect that you can be able to complete the square on this problem in your head. Now, you might be thinking, Mr. McLogan, I struggle with completing the square. I get it. A lot of times we work on problems with numbers that doing completing the square in your head is sometimes just not feasible. But a problem like this, we definitely want to be able to do it. Now, again, what I want you to be able to understand or recognize with completing the square, completing the square is all about creating a perfect square trinomial that we can factor down to a binomial squared. So when I see this x squared plus 2x, immediately what I think of is x squared plus 2x plus 1. That is a perfect square trinomial. That can be factored down into an x plus one quantity squared. I'm not stuck trying to do b divided by two squared and doing that math and putting it into my head, right? I just recognize, oh, that's a perfect square trinomial. I know that can be factored down. So what I'm simply gonna do is say, well, let's just rewrite it with that perfect square trinomial. And then just remember, I have to subtract it at the end, right? If you're gonna add it on one side of the equation, you have to subtract it on the other side, assuming this is like equal to y, right? So I can, create this perfect square, I can visualize that perfect square trinomial. I can also visualize the factored form of that. And then really the only math I'm trying to do is two minus one, which holy crap, that's easy. 